If you were a whisperer and you were gonna wear somebody's face, oh. whose face would you wear? Maybe Betty White. Oh, okay, and why? Because everybody likes Betty White. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully I wouldn't have to do the murder to get the face. Mm -hmm. Like I could just patiently wait until it's available. Right, definitely, you know? yes. And then just be this wonderfully charming, hilarious person that everyone loves. Hello and welcome back to Happy Hour. I'm your host, Lindsay Ames, and I'm so excited to be joined today by <laughs> the host of everything tech and video gaming, Trisha Hirschberger. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited to present to you this cocktail. I made it with Buchanan's Deluxe. It's called The Brighter Side of Dark, and uh, I would love if we could just take a little sippy. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. What do you think? Ooh, that's delicious. Right? Yes. I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's the cocktail of this episode because this episode is so dark and fraught. There's a beheading uh, with the whispers. Ah. Alpha just goes buck wild. And I felt like all the deep blood kind of is like emulated in this deep, dark, roasty treat of a drink. And, I like it. And the Buchanan's like the smokiness and the mystery. And there's a lot of things going on in the episode. And I feel like I put them all in the ice cubes as well with uh, little hints of mint and cherry. And so I just kind of threw them all together and here we go. Awesome, can I have another sip of this betrayal beverage that I, you've created? I would love, yes, right. yes. Perfect, perfect. Bring it back. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I feel like we're really thrust into this tumultuous world right now and it kind of echoes what's going on in the larger scope of reality. And you know, you're a mother. Yeah. Right? Oh, yes, yeah. I, I have a tiny human you have and a tiny I'm winging it. Exactly, and so, you know, this episode Michonne has a lot of struggles with Judith and it made me think, what would it be like if you guys were in this world and decided to befriend, you know, one of your mortal enemies? How would you handle that? You know, I feel like there's probably gonna be more than one moment when my tiny human befriends tiny humans that I am not super thrilled with. I mean, if you tell them don't do it, then that's like an They're... open door to please go do this. Yes. So I don't know what the right answer is. I think probably what I'm gonna do, if I can, is say, hey, I don't know that this is the coolest friend because of this, this, and this, but you need to make your own decisions, but just so you know, be aware of some things and hope that he's smart enough yeah, you to, to see the signs and put the pieces together and be like, you know what? Whispers, not for me. Not for me. <laughs> I don't need people wearing other people's faces as mm -hmm. friends, right? Now, if you had your choice mm -hmm. of like the civilizations to be a part of. <laughs> you know, we've got the Alexandrians, which, you know, we love them. They're a wonderful people. Then we have, right. you know, the introduction of the highwaymen and they're really, well, we don't know what they are yet. And we've got the whispers, which are like, badass. Who do you think you would want to align with and why? In a game? In yeah. a game, I would choose the whispers because it's super far from probably what I would do in real life. Yeah. Uh, and that would be fun in and of itself, but they're terrifying. They're so terrifying. But I kind of love the idea of like, well, this is what the world is now, so mm -hmm. we need to adapt. Like, this is what civilization has become, so let's be a part of it. Like, that, I mean, it's very forward thinking. It's true. Um, so I, I like that aspect of it, and I find that very unique, but I probably wouldn't do that in real life. But like in a let's pretend situation, yeah. like we're having right, right here. Now? Yes, let's say that. Would you, do you think you'd like <laughs> find your, do you think you'd be a leader or would you be more of a follower? Ooh, I would have to be a leader because I feel like the followers are the fighters mm -hmm. and I'm not a good fighter. Mm -hmm. So I want to be the brains that's like yeah. in the room back there when everybody else is fighting. This is really, really nice. This was so fun. Thank yeah. you for having me. No, thank you so much for coming. If people want to find you on social media, where can they do that? Uh, they can do that at that GRL Trish on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram or on YouTube and Twitch slash Trisha Hirschberger. I'm at Lindsay Ames on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Twitter. And we'd love for you to come back, make the cocktails, mm. read the comic books, and watch the show. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>